Hey there! Today I want to talk to you about something that's crucial for any software development process – release management. To be on the same page, release management usually covers how software releases are planned, designed and deployed. This includes code handover from devs to QA and back if needed, uh, testing, potential DevOps release management activities and uh, actual deployment. Now you might be wondering why release management is so important, so that's why I'm creating this video. Um, even if you don't have to meet some regulatory requirements, there are a number of reasons to formalize your release management lifecycle. Firstly, release control brings improved stability and reliability. Most companies already use a test case management tool and even have some issue prioritization in mind. However, both uh, the company and the employees would benefit from a formal checklist that they can just tick off. Secondly, controlled feature rollout is a recent advantage that makes a big difference for actively supported products. Proper release management brings modularity to enable certain functionality later. Thirdly, release history is a great asset even if your company is not required to have one. It simplifies potential internal audits, provides the data to improve your software development and gives the means to quickly identify malicious or negligent updates. Fourthly, security. It is a major consideration for implementing release control. The reason why you don't really see sabotage within big software companies is simple. Someone catches potentially hazardous code. So how does the release management work in your team? And what is the biggest challenge in your release management right now? Write in the comments. I would be happy to learn that. Thank you for watching and happy releasing!